The lawyers representing 100 survivors and victims' families just announced they're suing the federal government for its alleged responsibility for last year's shooting. They intend to sue the Defense Department, the Army, and Keller Army Community Hospital in West Point, New York, alleging they failed to respond to warning signs and threats the gunman Army Reservist Robert Card made. The families of those killed in the shooting say the Army had multiple opportunities to intervene, but did not. Obviously. There are several steps that could have been taken to prevent this tragedy. If those steps would have been taken, we may still have our 18 loved ones with us today. The gunman Robert Card killed 18 people at a bowling alley and a bar on October 25th, 2023. 40-year-old Card was found dead two days later with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Tammy. Leanna, what about the local authorities? Are the families holding them responsible in any way? No, and they made this really clear today during the press conference. The family's attorneys say the claims are focusing on the federal government and not local law enforcement because the Army had known access to critical information regarding Card's state of mind leading up to the shooting and could have helped ensure he did not have access to firearms. In addition, they say Card's unit failed to properly document the condition of his mental state. Back to you. All right, Leanna, thank you.